<laughs> Simple straight. Oh. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Polly. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now we got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. It gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look, we're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. You sending Tommy to dip his wick? It's a brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. The Don has invested a lot of money in it over the years. So, me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? Morello wants to take businesses away from us? He'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can't send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. But be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get made. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her, too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. All right, let's go. It's not like them to leave a mess like that. Go see Vinny. I'll meet you here. about their uh, misfortune, Tom. We're gonna fix it. A lesson learned, I think, eh?
here burying the Galati kid today? Yeah. They better bury him deep. Why? The guys we rub out started getting back up. That's why. You lose your card game? Something like that. Heard you in the market for something that goes boom. Give those girls a squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today, Vinny. Do you remember when the Corleone Hotel was a classy joint? That house you're going to has been headed downhill since 29. Though, I guess the girls are still pretty. We have to talk. Get in. Don't go anyplace yet. You gotta hear me out on this. It's about the girl. Michelle? Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I'd been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave, Tom? When she understands what'll happen otherwise, yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. And make sure she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. Michelle, she's the one from the racetrack, right? Tom, that was the last time we were gonna talk about her. Ever. I told you what I had to ask, and you listened. You gotta leave it there. Okay. Keep your head when you get into the hotel. Find your mark and don't act suspicious. The manager thinks he's untouchable. He'll probably walk right up to him. Anything else I should know? Nah. Just don't take all day. Pilate died young, so there can't be much to say about him. When the bomb goes off, I'll do my thing. Got it. What kind of world is it that when you screw up, you get sent to a cat house? Well, I have to clean up your mess at a funeral. You see the justice in that? I see a job I gotta do. Such a professional. Just try to finish a job this time, huh? First time I've been to a church in a while. Well, I'm gonna guess they're still singing the same songs. Last time I went, it was. Same songs I always heard as a kid. Yeah, you're not the religious type. It's the funerals, Tom. That's all it ever is. All that anyone ever wants to do is point guns at the family and shoot. Game point, there were so many funerals, I just stopped going to most of them. They're all boring as hell. That's a shame, seeing as you're always dressed for the occasion. Great gag, Tom. Write that one down. Thanks. I'll do that. Now, weddings. Weddings are less boring. I'd go to one of them. You working on that? Uh, guess so. Good. Because I've given up waiting on Polly. Guy couldn't get a broad to stick to him if they went swimming through glue. Ah, he'll find someone. Tom? If his own mother has given up hope, then you can give up hope, too.
Here's your stuff. I'll give the family your condolences. Good luck. You too. You behave yourself in here, okay? Know where I can find the manager? I just watch the door, pal. Hey, handsome. You here for a girl, drinks, or a mix of the two? A girl. And I got some business with your manager, too. A girl I can help you with. Come through. Find a girl you like, and you can both get better acquainted upstairs. There's no rush. So get a drink, relax, and enjoy yourself. Hey, good afternoon, sir. Ooh, just how I like them. Why don't you buy me a drink? Because you're not the dame I'm after. You know Michelle? I'm new here, baby. I don't know a thing. Buy me a drink? We can just talk if you don't want anything else. We can do whatever you want. What's a handsome man like you doing in a place like this? Looking for a girl named Michelle. She's busy upstairs, but I'm free. Darling, I'm not here for questions. I need to speak to Michelle. The only girls available are the girls you can see. Find one you like, and don't make a fuss. Come on, honey. Without you, how am I gonna pay the rent? I can tell you're nervous, but I can step you through what we gotta do. Hey, I'm looking for Michelle. Know her? Yeah, she's the popular one. Book yourself in with a guy at reception. You gotta get in line for Michelle. Something on your mind? I need to talk to the manager. Yeah, head straight through to the lounge. You're with our uh, new business partners, I assume. Know a girl named Michelle. Hey, the only girls I know are the ones behind you, sir. And the only ones available. Feel free to approach the girls if they don't approach first. Difficult choice to make, huh? A drink while you take in the sights. A drink while you take in the sights. Feel free to approach the girls if they don't approach first. You get a room when you get a guy, not before. Ugh, fine. You know the rules, Dottie. Is Michelle in today? Let me check. She's in, but she's busy. If you're waiting for Michelle to come down, she ain't gone. She's got fellas in with her all day long. Oh, 
Who's these new guys getting the run of the place? And a manager having to play nice with his new friends. How come? That's when your new friends turn up with Tommy guns? That's what you do. Downtown 1702. It's Ruth. I can't come in. Johnny's sick. He don't care. He wants you here. I need to take him to a doctor. Is he dying? No, I don't think... Then it don't matter. You need to come in. Leave him with the lady next door if you need to. I can't do that. You're his best girl. And he says he wants you here to entertain the new guys he's getting protection from. It don't matter how sick your kid is. You gotta come in and work. Want to go back to the rest of the girls in the corner six and maple then be my guest you told me what it was like fur coat and flashing the cars look when there's snow at your feet and you can't feel your legs for the wind and cold i'm doing you a favor your kid will get better but you're working on the street again you'll see him worse leave him with your neighbor get here quick and pray to god he don't notice you late i'll cover for you but i can only do it for so long i'll leave it to you bye Why are you back here? Someone help! You 
You treat women like this? You treat your mother like this? No, please! Huh. Don't like when it's doled out to you, do you? I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean it! You meant it when you did it, you prick! Fuck him up, Charlie. Come here and they take it. Gotta hide. Gonna <coughs> let this. Come get him. <coughs> Jeez. <coughs> The fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe. There's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. Well, the Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping guns with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him I won't never open my mouth again. Shh. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're scared then. Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. 
Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're gonna find you with two in the head. Do you understand? Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is gonna blow soon. Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square. Friendship between the Corleone Hotel and the Morello family be long and fruitful. Are you with the Morello party, sir? Oh! 
think it's me? It's Kai Blue signed me! What it looks like. Ah, sorry.
On the roof with us! Thought you'd get by, didn't you? Didn't think we'd be here to meet you, huh? Move up! we fallen, we can find redemption in death. Now, William, he was a sinner, yes, but he was also a loving son, a protective brother, and a loyal friend. And for those virtues, we pray that his soul will find salvation. And now, I believe, one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words. Thank you, Father. I, uh, I just wanted to pay my respects. Billy, I never said this, but I consider you my brother. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a beat. So I don't know how I'm good. What are you doing? Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Billy! <laughs>
I'm enjoying this! What have you done? Murder in the house of God! These men were criminals, Father. Thieves. Rapists. Killers. And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now, which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor? Which one might have saved just one life? None of us, Father. You bastard. If you have any confessions to make, you better do it quick. No more bloodshed, please! I'm sorry, Father. <sighs> Consider this an act of... Divine retribution. That make us even. Sure. For now. For your trouble, Father. I don't want your blood money. You took theirs. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. There should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes and keep you quiet. <laughs> when the cops come, you tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. Must have been from out of town, right? I won't lie. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked into church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on, we gotta go. Forget today for a long time. You're telling me. Let's get back to the bar. We gotta lie low. We just all went to. Ah, the priest will keep his trap shut. Don't worry. Morello got a bloody nose. You and Polly are in the clear for whacking the lottie son. Boss will be pleased.
listening to WBDS. Come by and pay a visit to our famous Market Square, where you'll find almost anything your palate may What's with you today, Tom? Behringer's, the name you can... Thanks again, Sam, for helping me out back there. It's not anything you wouldn't do for me. I know, but when you come that close to biting it, Christ, it's something. Don't need to tell me about that. Just don't think about it. Best lesson I could ever teach you. Don't think about anything. Jesus Christ, dummy. You're confessing to a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know I could take you in right now, put your bowling bars, tell you old and gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Murillo. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. I recovered some account books from Rella's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need didn't catch on? Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do, except drink, have a few laughs. And every time I went into Celieri's, there was Sarah. So it was a good year. Until Frank. A Coletti, a Don's consigliere. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Uh, we got to do something with that, though. <laughs> then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show. Or invest it, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes, so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful, skinny Cherneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together. Betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard, and every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat. And everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. 
Look, Paulie hit his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy, you could run this town someday. Well, I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, what happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. You can let me off here. Give Sarah my best, Tommy. Back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tommy. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back, eh? You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. You know, it's a good to see a smile back on Sarah's face. Back in the day, when the boss was still with that phone, he got called out for a hit. Some uh, politician on the take. And these storms just raging. Right? And we're driving out to the burbs to cap this guy. The street lights weren't so good, so we're driving in the dark. We get to the house, and we're about to make our move. And then there's this lightning flash. And for a split second, in the front yard, I see this head, just sitting there, staring, cut off at the neck. Nah, this ain't true. Some other crew had already been out to the house that night. Guess the guy had more than his share of enemies. They never found the body. Bullshit. God's truth. Thanks for waiting, Tom. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. 
Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at the farm outside of town. Paulie will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city, but I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay. Get the car from Ralphie and meet Paulie at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case earmarked for the Don. This mama motor is yours, if you want it, Tommy. Thanks, Ralph. Working late, Ralphie? I says his sleep when f, -f Frank sleeps. Man, he's been working us hard. Morello's taking bites out of business everywhere else, Ralph. Bull's wreck, it's where we shine. We gotta stay ahead someplace. Ah, well, I, I just f, -f, -f fixed the cars to Tom. I changed the purple plates again. You can't be too careful. See you in the morning. Okay. Tom! Hey, hey, 
Hey, watch it, pal. Just dry it out. Sorry. You know this place? Oh, uh, yeah. We've done a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. It's gonna be an easy few clams. Boys will load up the trucks. We'll come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Ah, uh, you see it sooner or later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, uh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. You're going home to a couch. <laughs> Now, I wonder what kind of stories she could tell about her old man, though. I believe he was a stone-cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. <laughs> That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. God damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Don't let your Pekka get all shriveled up. Probably just trying to get out of the rain. Or into the bootleg. That'll wake him. He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find him. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here. Just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you. Hey, Tommy's going ahead to check on Sam, but we're doing this like always. Walk over to the Canadians, Make sure they're good. We bring our trucks over and we make the exchange. Got it? Sure thing, Polly. Ah, uh, Donnie, you got that? Whatever gets it done, Polly. Sam should have been right here. Canadians are good people, but we need to be careful.
buddy. Jesus. Drop your weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here! I got a pin down! It must have taken longer to die. Whoa! It's me, Tom! Polly! What took you so long? Looking for Sammy? Find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts to rest the face down in the dirt, too. Oh, Christ. The cops, Tommy. How would I know? They didn't show a badge. Yeah, they didn't say anything. They must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. Quiet down, Polly. 
was shot in the back of the head. Must have been lined up. Poor bastards. Stay here and watch our backs. Plug anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Except us.
care of me. Oh, Jesus, what have they done to you? I got collect. Grace has a lot of blood. Can you walk? No, no, I don't think so. Okay, 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 just hang on. I'll go get the truck, then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey, you gonna make it, Sam? Tommy, mm. stay here with him. I'll be back, I'll be back in a flash. Okay. It'll be okay, Sam. We survived worse. Sure. Sure we are. Where'd all these guys come from? See, Nick, you're down, Tom! Come on, Tom! Where the hell are you? Donnie, too? Yeah. What a fucking massacre. How's Sam? Well, he ain't any worse. I'll go get him. Keep an eye out.
up. Two squad cars on us! doing here so late. Uh, uh, evening, Doc. Sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. <laughs> the doc's already got his hands full. No sense of both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Doc. Uh, we'll be fine. Okay. 
Hey. You did good tonight. presidential address delivered earlier this year on the topic of the National Recovery Administration. This is part of our series looking back over the president's plans and results since his inauguration. While we are making this great common effort, there should be no discord and no dispute. This is no time to cavil or to question the standards set by this universal agreement. It is time for patience, and understanding, and cooperation. The workers of this country have rights under this law, which cannot be taken from them, and nobody will be permitted to whittle them away. But, on the other hand, no aggression is now necessary to attain those rights. The whole country will be united to get them forward. The principle that applies to the employers applies to the workers as well. And I ask you workers to cooperate in the same spirit. When Andrew Jackson, old Hickory, died, someone asked, will he go to heaven? The answer was, he will if he wants to. If I am asked whether the American people will pull themselves out of this depression, I answer, they will if they want to. The essence of the plan is a universal limitation of hours of work per week for any individual by common consent and a universal payment of wages above the minimum, also by common consent. My friends, I cannot guarantee the success of this nationwide plan. The people of this country can guarantee their success. I have no faith in you all, but I believe that we can greatly influence economic forces. I have no sympathy with the professional economists who insist that things must run their course and that human agencies can have no influence on economic ills. One reason is that I happen to know that professional economists have changed their definition of economic laws every five or ten years for a very long time. But I do have faith and retain faith in the strength of common purpose and in the strength of unified action taken by the American people. The president there speaking earlier this year on the National Recovery Administration. You're late. Dinner's cold. 